The next trig identities we'll cover are called the Pythagorean identities. We learned the Pythagorean theorem in TR-09, and we mentioned this first Pythagorean identity back in TR-14. For a right triangle with sides of length a, b, and hypotenuse c, the equation a squared plus b squared equals c squared is always true. So let's apply the Pythagorean theorem to the unit circle. We get cosine squared theta plus sine squared theta equals 1. Remember in TR-14, we mentioned that when we square a trig function, we put the exponent between the function name and the angle, and we say sine squared theta, not sine of theta squared. Anyway, this is our first Pythagorean trig identity, because it comes straight from the Pythagorean theorem. It's probably the most famous equation in trigonometry. Sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta equals 1. The terms can switch places, of course. It's the same identity. There aren't many things in this series I suggest you memorize. In fact, I try hard to show you how little you really need to memorize. But this identity, you should know. We can try the sine and cosine of angles we know, or any angle, and prove to ourselves that the identity is always true. We find another Pythagorean identity by taking this main equation and dividing each term by cosine squared theta. The first term becomes 1. The second term is sine squared theta over cosine squared theta. You should know that sine over cosine is tangent, so sine squared theta over cosine squared theta is tangent squared theta, which is the second term. On the other side of the equal sign, we now have 1 over cosine squared theta, which is secant squared theta. So, 1 plus tangent squared theta equals secant squared theta is the second Pythagorean identity. We can find the third by dividing the first by sine squared theta instead of cosine squared theta. We get cosine squared theta over sine squared theta plus sine squared theta over sine squared theta equals 1 over sine squared theta. The first term is the reciprocal of tangent squared theta, so cotangent squared theta. The second term reduces to 1, and the rightmost term is cosecant squared theta. See TR-14 if you need a review of the reciprocal trig functions. So we have three Pythagorean identities. Note that each consists of three terms. For each identity, we can isolate whichever term we like to get equivalent identities in different forms. These three equations all represent the same identity. It's not complicated. If I tell you that 3 plus 4 equals 7, then you also know that 3 equals 7 minus 4, and 4 equals 7 minus 3. They express the same relationship. So likewise, each basic identity can be stated in three ways. And in all cases, we can substitute one side for the other in any equation or proof. This looks like a lot, but please remember this. We started with cosine squared theta plus sine squared theta equals 1 the most important equation in trigonometry, and one of the few things I suggest you commit to memory. We get the next two identities by dividing through by cosine squared and sine squared, and we get the other forms by isolating different terms. It's simple. A question in video TR-33X will be to state all variations of the Pythagorean identities, and the answer is on your screen. So pause if you like to see if you can generate them Memorize 1, generate 8. It will be very common to solve for cosine or sine not squared given the other. So by starting with these two equations and taking the square root of each side, we get these two useful identities. These equations are handy to know even if you don't memorize them. Like every other equation in this video, they're derived from cosine squared theta plus sine squared theta equals 1. This video has an accompanying Z video, TR-33Z, that shows how all six of the trig functions can be visualized on a unit circle. It includes some nice Pythagorean surprises. I think all Z videos are interesting, but TR-33Z is really special. I hope you check it out. In the next video, TR-34, we'll use the Pythagorean identities to solve problems and do more proofs.